María Giner. I'm calling you. What are you doing in here? Didn't you hear me? Alex, we gotta go. We're gonna be late. Sorry, Mommy. I tripped. Ay, pero there were a dozen crashes and booming. Did you break something? I tripped a few times. You see, Mama, fue una pesadilla. A horrible nightmare. See, there was this dragon breathing fire. And then I fought it with my sword. And then I leapt to save the princess. And then I slipped off my airplane and fell on top of my junk pile. Como, Alejandra? Why does crazy stuff always happen to you in the morning? But, Mommy... ¿Qué es eso? What's in your jeans? Okay, stop now. Give it up. No, the teacher said. But it's no my science toys. project. Don't come home thinking I'm gonna buy you a new one when you lose it. I won't. Pues all right, vámonos. Whistling, son. She's a girl, sir. Oh, well, uh, you, you never can tell these days, I guess. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I didn't mean to. I know. Good day. Good day. Minnie is ten years old. Last weekend, she completed her nature walk badge for Girl Guides. She learned about tree bark that smells like vanilla and poison ivy that feels like fire. Then she hosted a tea party, and that's the end. Does anyone have any questions? Would anyone like to see her up close except for you and you and you and you and you, and you in the back? No, well, good, and thank you. Thank you, Dion. Now, everyone, applaud Dion. And now we have Alex, who will be showing us her super neon bouncy ball. Hey, cool! Huh. This super neon bouncing ball bounces up to 75% of its original dropping altitude. And it's even faster when I throw it hard. How fast does it go? Guessing? About 50 kilometers an hour on my best throw. But if there was no air, like in space, it would go even faster. Maybe even up to 75 kilometers an hour. Cool! Remember to raise your hand if you'd like to speak. Aww. Now, are there any more questions? Yes, Berto, do you have a question? Yeah. Is she a boy or a girl? Now, that is completely <gasps> hmm. inappropriate. Because she's got a girl's name, but the stuff she talks about, it's all, you know, boy kind of things. Hmm. There is no such thing as a boy thing and girl thing in this classroom. Every child can develop an interest in every topic. Remember, just last week we studied the work of the first female astronaut. What was her name, Berto? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, but miss, outside your classroom there really are boy things and girl things. You should see the girls hopping hopscotch. I mean, the boys try it, but they don't do it too well and they fall down. It's really a girl thing, I think. And then there's... So, are you a boy or a girl? Do you have any questions about the ball? Duh, I'm a girl. Nah. What did you say? I said nah. I don't have any more questions whatever about you being a girl. Alex, pass it over here! I got it! Whoa! Ooh. Hurt! 
you doing playing with the boys? Oh, who does she think she is? Look at that hair. That's boys' hair. What's boys' hair? Short hair. But I've got short hair, and Roger's got long hair. Yeah, but you've got girls' short hair. She's got boys' short hair. And, well, I've always wondered about Roger. Wondered what? You're crazy. And look at those soccer shorts. They're red. I got it. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. So what about it? Oh, everyone knows red's a boy color. It is not. Look at Daphne. <laughs> she's the girliest girl in the whole school. And she's got the reddest capri pants I've ever seen. <sighs> it's true. Red's hard. It can go either way. It's all in the shade of the clothes. Red, light red, going on pink. That would be girl red. But red, dark red, going on maroon. Clearly boy. Right. I've never really thought about it. I just kind of put on clothes every day. Though now that you mention it, red has always been a bit confusing. I only wear blue. Are you a boy or a girl anyway? What are you talking about? Get off the field! You play soccer and basketball with the boys. You play the trumpet. You talk about cars and bouncy balls. You even run like a boy. You never play with the girls over at the hopscotch. So what? So, are you a boy or a girl? I already told you. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a girl, okay? So you can leave me alone now. Dion's right. If you're a girl, you should stop being a boy. Oh, yeah? You should stop being a boy. You should stop doing all the boy things. Why? Because I said so. Well, that's a silly reason. Got anything else? Because boys are uh. silly, silly. Ow! What was that for? We're boys, remember? Oh, yeah. I mean, boys who are girls are silly. I, I mean, girls who are trying to be boys. I mean, girly boy girls. I mean, I, I don't know what I mean. What do I mean, Birdo? That tomboys need to get off the soccer field and go find pretty dresses to wear instead. Oh, so this is about you losing to me again. Don't take it so hard, Birdo. It's okay to be second best. I can take you any day. All right. Hey! You better tell me what's going on. Why me? Because I taught you all your math this year, and I'll stop helping you and you'll fail. Oh, yeah. So fess up. They say those shorts are boy shorts. But they're red! That totally counts as a girl color. Nope. Dion says it depends on the shade. And those aren't red going on pink, which could be seen as a girl color. They're red going on purple. Actually, red really is known as a boy color. I mean, it's like a main boy color. Are you sure? My favorite color is blue. Just to avoid the whole thing, you might just want to choose something clear-cut like that, but in girl. Maybe pink or yellow. Thanks. I know you're just trying to help, but I can't do it. I mean, they're too bright. I'd have to get sunglasses to look at myself. Moths would bump into me for warmth. Bees would circle me for pollen. It would just be too painful. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. What are you going to do? <laughs> Alex, that is true. <laughs> what are you doing home so early? Mika, what's wrong? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Oh, baby girl, what happened? Why are you the only one who can tell I'm a girl? <laughs> Tengo un cuento. I heard a story once. <laughs> no, about what? Well, there once was a girl who didn't like girl thing. No makeup or dresses or dolls. What did the other kids say about her? The people who didn't know that people are different couldn't and wouldn't understand. I'll bet. They kept asking her if she was a boy or a girl. Well, she better get used to it. But the girl never thought about acting like a girl or a boy. 
She just did what she liked to do. But someone would always say something to her about yeah, it. Yeah, every single day they want to know if I'm a boy or a girl. And they look at me like I'm a rat or some hairy animal. And they point and make jokes. Alex, you'll never be a girl like other girls. And you don't have to be. Right now it's hard because too many people don't know about girls like you. Girls that are like boys? Ever since there were girls and boys, there have been girls who like to do boy things and boys who like to do girl things. Is that true? Or are you just making it up to make me feel better? It's true. I swear it. And when you grow up, you can do anything you want to do. Do you believe me?